Okay, so then we, um, we simplify these. Um, 0 divided by 1 is 0. 1 over 1 is 1. This is negative 1 half, 1 third, negative 1 fourth. Um, this is going to be 1 fifth. Is that right? Times 5? 100? Yeah, 1 fifth. Okay, and then this is going to be, sorry, this was, uh, this was negative 120 here. Um, and I recognize that I had made a mistake because you can see the pattern is alternating, negative, positive, negative, positive. So I expected this to be a negative, and it is, it's negative 1 sixth. So we can actually go ahead and um, erase everything in the middle. We construct this entire table for the sole purpose of finding these coefficients right here. Once we've done that, we can actually erase everything in the center. We want to leave k because we'll need that to construct our Taylor polynomial. But we can get rid of all of this. Seems like a lot of work for just those stupid little coefficients. <laughs> but um, we need those coefficients and the k's here. So now for um, constructing our Taylor polynomial, um, it's really a, a pretty simple formula. We always do the coefficient first, so in this case our first coefficient is 0, and I can erase this as well, just to make it clear. So we have 0 times x minus whatever a is, so in this case 1, raised to uh, whatever's in this column here, k. So um, this is the coefficient, this is a, and then this is the um, the exponent k. So we just go on writing the polynomial like that, and then we always add them together. So again, coefficient 1 times x minus a to the first power plus negative 1 half times x minus 1 to the 2 plus... 1 third times x minus 1 to the 3 plus negative 1 fourth times x minus 1 to the 4 plus 1 fifth times x minus 1 to the 5 plus negative 1 sixth times x minus 1 to the 6th. And that's our Taylor polynomial and all we need to do now is simplify it. So let me get rid of this stuff. You can see how we just um, how we just wrote that out. You've got the coefficients that we had in this last column: zero, one, negative one half, one third, negative one fourth, one fifth, and negative one sixth. Those are always the coefficients. X always stays the same. You always subtract um, whatever a is. So in this case, one, 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 and one, and then our column here, k, we have as our exponent, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's our polynomial, and now all we need to do is simplify. So this whole first term is going to cancel because it's a 0 out in front. So that'll go away. Let me just go ahead and erase that. Um, we don't need this anymore. And then we have uh, x minus 1 to the 1 and multiply by 1, so that's just actually going to end up, right, x minus 1. Um, then we'll have minus 1 half times x minus 1 squared plus 1 third x minus 1 to the 3 minus 1 fourth x minus 1 to the 4 plus 1 fifth x minus 1 to the 5 and then of course we'll have these things are so long we run out of room uh, minus 1 sixth times x minus 1 to the 6. Okay so that's our first step of simplification and now I think all we need to do is uh, go ahead and, and change this around. Uh, I think we should do, um, I think we should actually, yeah, we'll just leave that. The only thing that I would change is um, 
instead of having these coefficients out in front here, just move this x minus 1 term to the top. So since everything's already in this x minus 1 form, it's okay to leave that, but I would do it this way, x minus 1 squared over 2, like that, plus x minus 1 cubed over 3 minus x minus 1 to the 4 over 4 plus x minus 1 to the 5 over 5 minus x minus 1 to the 6 over 6. So that, I think, is our final simplified Taylor polynomial. We can get rid of all this stuff just so you can see it really clearly. And that's it. Pretty much construct the table, write out your Taylor polynomial, and uh, simplify until you've got something clean. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye!